Welcome to the Double Take. I'm Zach Timmons. And I'm Trevor Wilt. And we're here inside Jerry Richardson Stadium where the Charlotte 49ers just came up short against the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders 38-31. On a cold and windy day in the Queen City, the 49ers honored their 27 seniors, including 19 redshirt seniors who laid the foundation for the Charlotte 49er program before Jerry Richardson Stadium was even built. Out of the seniors, running back Khalif Phillips eclipsed 4,000 rushing yards for his career, who will leave Shaw as the all-time leading rusher. Very peaceful in the air one. We all love each other. We've been here since the beginning. And since the our whole season and stuff started, we, we knew from the beginning that we was going to come in and play our hearts out for senior day. And we came out and did that. It means a lot for me to put that down in history for that. And I'm very grateful to be here and I'll always be a night. Late in the first quarter, after Middle jumped out to a 14-0 lead, Daquan Lucas picked up one of his team-leading nine tackles while also getting an interception later in the game. Later in the drive for Middle Tennessee, Charlotte's redshirt senior Nick Cook got the 49ers' first defensive stop on third down, helping give the 49ers momentum going into the second quarter with little to no offensive production in the first. After a short punt by Middle Tennessee, the 49ers capitalized on great field position as Hassan Klug kept the ball from Khalif Phillips, running to his right and into the end zone for a 16-yard touchdown. After the touchdown, Blake Brewer missed the extra point, with the 49ers now trailing 14-6 at the start of the second quarter. Just after the Charlotte touchdown, Nick Cook intercepted Middle Tennessee's John Urzia right over the middle for the 49ers. Urzia finished the day with four touchdowns and 250 yards. With MTSU leading Charlotte 24-6 out of the half, the 49ers came out hot as Clue rolled out to his right and took matters into his own hands, rushing for a 7-yard touchdown and putting the 49ers within 11, 24-13. After a middle touchdown, Charlotte scored, and you guess it, it was by Hassan Clue. Clue's rushing touchdown was his third of the game and seventh of the season, with his third rushing touchdowns being the most in one game by a 49er, yet the 49ers still trailed 31-23. With eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter, Anthony Covington laid a big hit on a Middle Tennessee receiver, breaking up the pass. But on the play, Covington went down and had to be carted off the field and rushed to the hospital. After Covington's big play on defense, Charlotte regained possession of the ball and marched right down the field for a clue to Kofa, eight-yard touchdown in the back corner of the end zone, putting the 49ers within two points with five minutes left on the clock. Hassan passed for 239 yards on one touchdown, telling four touchdowns on the night. Redshirt senior Austin Duke led the way for the 49ers on the receiving end, catching eight passes for 112 yards. Down by two, the 49ers used a trick play in the backfield to tie the game up at 31, as Duke passed the ball to Clue, who dove and caught it just before it hit the turf. Middle Tennessee scored the game-winning touchdown on a 61-yard run for Ty Lee, giving Middle the 38-31 victory. Well, I went at home for our fans, and so that's a little frustrating. Uh, to not finish the deal, you know, in three games here, we had a chance to win all three of them. But we knew, we knew from the beginning we 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 played better, and we we had to show that in the second half. And we came out and actually put the pedal down. You just, yeah, you just want to come out and play like how, you know how you can play, and we didn't do that in the first half, and that was upsetting. You know, I just got to get better. You know, uh, I got to um, throw the ball over them. You know, and I just got to get better at the quarterback position. Uh, they just get, did a great job in the blocking schemes. Obviously, uh, we know they were going to attack us on the perimeter. And coming out to start the game, we didn't do well. But I feel I felt as though as the game went on, we got in the groove and got kind of settled down until the last drive in the big run. With the loss, the 49ers are officially not bowl eligible, sitting at 4-7 and seven on the season. The Charlotte 49ers will go to UTSA at 7 o'clock next Saturday for the last game of the regular season. From everyone here at the Niner Times, I'm Trevor Wilt. I'm Zach Timmons. And go, go Niners! Niners.